I've decided to make a third kind of value vinyl sub channel. Well, I guess shows on there. First, we got our value vinyl. It's going to be the same kind of format. I annoy Brie, Brie X, like Brie, and then we have three random records, and then we talk about them. That's going to stay the same. Uh, the value vinyl vignettes, those are going to be for the contest entries, small little short, quick, blurby things. Things are just not related to value vinyl in that area. And then this is going to be, uh, as you saw in the beginning, uh, vindication. This is going to be making things right. Now, the majority of this video, 98, 99% of this and future videos are going to be me going through the stacks and stacks of 45s that I had picked up for 99 cents and cleaning them and showing them. And that's what's going to happen in this episode. Um, at the end of this, uh, the last half of this is going to be me actually showing you my cleaning method and going through one of them and uh, getting it ready with all the process that I have of getting it for my collection. Um, and then the future videos, I'm going to actually, on my own, do like 10, 20 at a time. And then I'm going to show them in little batches so you guys get to see all of them that are there in their full glory. Now, this is about vindication, making things that are wrong right again. And not just the person who let these sons of guns be in a flood and then they were going to, that's wrong. And then Salvation Army is going to throw them away because they weren't good enough to get money. You're the flipping Salvation Army. Do you even know what kind of garbage you got in there? I've been in there and there's a lot of crap in there. This is not crap. Calm down. I'm on it. Okay. So, two parts here. The first part is going to be me. And the second part I'm going to have Brie involved in. The first part. While I was at the store getting those uh, 45s, I did pick up some other records. Yes, I picked up my standard fare, like Zamfir, Master of the Pan Flute. I mean, who did not watch commercials? Remember that? This is a scene on TV stuff, and I've seen those commercials. Zamfir. I picked that up. I also picked up Herb Elbert and the Tijuana Brass's Christmas album. I mean, why not? These are real good copies. They're in great shape. You know, why wouldn't I? Giddy up, oom um, pop, oom um, pop, mow, mow, giddy up, oom um, pop, oom um, pop, mow, mow. That's right, the virus on here. Oh, crazy boys. So, yeah, I'm picking up these things, and I came across something that I think I needed to make right. I I've been a bad music listener, I've been a snob, I've been a prude. As much as I preach, and talk about pride in the fact that I listen to all genres of music and everything is great. I'm a liar. I'm a hypocrite. You know why? I personally have had some bad experiences with all organized religion. Don't want to go into details, but I've never picked up, nor listened to, nor cared. Matter of fact, I've shunned and turned away intentionally on any kind of Christian music. And I've got some VC guys out there, and you know, I'm talking to you, Tim. You've been an inspiration. Of course, you, Dale. Um, there's been a few others that have mentioned that music is universal. It's language neutral. It's music is for all races, creeds, colors, religions. Music is music. There is no such thing as a Christian guitar sound, you know? Um, the lyrics might be. And then I would sit there, well, yeah, well, I don't want to hear that crap. So whatever. And you know what? Hypocrite again, because you know what? We just got done with the issue with Brie listening to a song that had explicit lyrics. And what did I say? I say, don't listen to those words as something to taking to you personally. Listen to who they're coming from. Listen to the story they're telling. Listen to their message. And I thought to myself, holy crud, why didn't I do that? And so I am busting my virgin cherry today, and I'm going to open my world and realm to Christian music, my very first ever in my whole existence. And uh, I'm going to show you what I got. Now, here's the thing, guys. You know, uh, some other VC guy, <clears throat> Mark, um, posted some, uh, hey, who are these people? I have no clue. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. If you've ever heard of them, know of them, know what they sound like, what type of music they are, I got nothing. But I will be cleaning up and listening to them later. But as of the recording of this, clueless. First one. And the reason I picked them up, they were cheap and they were in massively awesome condition. Dun, 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 dun. Still on the shrink ramp. Servant with... Caught in the act of loving him. Servant. I looked at the back. I'm like, hey, they look like a Rocky kind of band. I can dig that. That's awesome. 
And this is this is complete, complete. I mean, it's got all the goodies, the inserts, the liner notes, coupon for eight bucks off some other music. Um, the label, kind of a neat little label here. Um, it's like this. If you can see that. So that is the first one I picked up, Servant. Caught in the act of loving him. I'm thinking, going to take my guess, see how good I am. It's going to be rock, but it's not going to be like hard rock. We're talking like maybe like a new wave poppy kind of rock, you know, kind of a thing. That's what I'm thinking because if you look really closely, um, look at the guy's bass there. You know, I'd never seen Gene Simmons play one of those. So, you know, we really got a genre mixed off the list there. But uh, there we go. Second one. Mylon Lefebvre, 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 L'Enfant Vrant. Okay, this French guy and Broken Heart, Sheep in Wolf's Clothing. Again, I picked this up because I needed to get into it. I got to dig my feet into the Christian music. And you know what? This is the most 80s thing in existence. Holy cannoli. Look at this thing. And they're pixelated. This is flipping awesome. Look at the back. Look at the back. Listen, uh... If they sound half as good as this album cover looks, I'm in on it, all right? And uh, they continue the pink. And there's the label. Ooh. So, tell me who they are. I don't know. And last one, Synth Pop. I know that because on the back, all three people play synthesizers. Hey, this guy, he plays guitar and synthesizer. This guy plays drums and synthesizer. That guy plays bass and a synthesizer. So I'm thinking synth vector with please stand by. So that's my writing a wrong, not being a musical bigot, actually opening my eyes and preaching my words of what I believe in and uh, listening to some stuff that I've never heard before. So that's part one. Part two is coming up in a minute. I'm going to be having Bree come in because... Music is music, and I have been a musical bigot in regards to vinyl. Vinyl, vinyl, vinyl. I keep saying, I don't have any CDs. I do have the Richard Cheese CDs, but I don't listen to them. Or cassettes. This is the only form of music that matters. I'm a snob to all you other guys. It's all vinyl or nothing. That's bullcrap. Um, so my daughter is going to be collecting CDs. She's in the digital age, and that's what she's going to be doing. So I'm going to have her come out a little bit because she found some... Uh, awesome finds at the Goodwill in the CD realm. So here she comes. So my dad is the final collector, but I, I like finals, but he is okay with me collecting um, CDs. He's still keeping on vinyls because it's his favorite thing, but I am going, I like CDs. Vinyl. There's no such thing as vinyls. Vinyl is plural. One deer. 20 deer, one vinyl, 20 vinyl, dig. I'm sorry, okay, did I trigger you? Yeah, you triggered me, that's a trigger. Anyways, so I have three CDs that I wanted to show you that were in the vinyl value vinyl way. One of them was actually from my dad, and I want to thank him because of this, because of this CD is why this band became my favorite band. It's the Bloodhound Gang. It's the Bloodhound Gang. Hooray for boobies. Special effects. See, we got a budget now for it. Check it out. Okay. So I'm just trying to help you out, babe. Why don't you make you famous? Stop. What's the name of that CD? Hooray for boobies. What was it? Hooray for boobies. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's. Okay, keep going. Um... But I love the Bloodhound Gang. It, my favorite on um, band used to be Imagine Dragons, but after they got me this CD, I'm in love with the Bloodhound Gang. It's my favorite band, and I just can't love them. The second one I think is actually my favorite pickup and the best pickup I got. So I was at Salvation Army looking for the books and CDs and stuff while my dad was looking for records. And stuff. Same day this happened. Yeah. I saw... Something that was in shock. It was in perfect condition. No scratches on the CD. A Spongebob album. The best day ever album. I can't... Whoever donated this? Best day ever! Hey. 
I can't believe somebody donated it this, but at the same time, I'm so glad that they did. And this is what the CD looks like. Spongebob and Patrick. It has like this radio theme where it's like WH2O radio thing. It's like listening to a radio. And what did Daddy just come home with like five minutes ago from the Big Lots closeout store? Huh? Huh? Look what Daddy did. As you know, in one of the earlier videos, I showed my Justin Timberlake record. Sorry, my nose itches for some reason. My Justin Timberlake record. Well, my dad saw this, Justin Timberlake, Timberlake, <laughs> Justin Timberlake. At least you're not calling him Bieber anymore. Justin Timberlake as the main um, singer. It's still in factory seal for two dollars and fifty cents. Well, technically it's in sync, but there he is, right there. He's a handsome fella. Look at him. He looks good. So anyway. Awesome. That's it. I just wanted to let you guys know that I've been opening my mind to Christian music and opening the abilities to have my other family members enjoy CDs, and uh, they are, and I think that's a good thing. Uh, I don't want to be a vinyl snob anymore, and I don't want to be a music snob, a, a genre snob. So that's part one of this video. Um, I'm going to be cutting this short now here. Part two is uh, you'll be meeting me down in the Valley Vinyl Kitchen. We're doing some fun stuff in the kitchen. Christian music? Oh, you mean like religious me? I thought you were talking about somebody else. Oh, you mean that cute boy at school named Christian Shut that you got a crush on? Shut that up. boy named Christian that you got a crush on? Shut hey, up. he thinks he's hot. Stop.